Adobe Premiere Elements offers a new feature called motion tracking that allows you to add a graphic to a video clip and have that graphic move along with an object within that video clip. Now I'm beginning this video with Premiere Elements already open on my computer and I've added a video clip to the timeline that I want to use for this project. I'm going to click the play button for a few seconds so we can see what we're working with. Now you can see that we have some footage of a cyclist that is moving within the frame of the video and we're going to track that object using the motion tracking feature. Now the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have the clip selected. So I'm going to click on the clip to make it active and then I'm going to move the current time indicator to where I want to start tracking the object. Now to begin I'll go to the tools button and I'll scroll down to the bottom and choose the motion tracking option. And as the instructions indicate, we need to first select the object that we want to track. So I'm going to click the Select Object button, and you'll see that a bounding box appears that I'm going to use to define the object that I want to track. So I can click on this and I can reposition it wherever I want, and I can also click on these handles to resize the bounding box to more accurately define the object that I'm going to be tracking. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to now click on the Track Object button. Now once that's finished, a yellow rectangle appears around the object that we defined. But I want to see how Premiere Elements did as far as tracking the object as the video moves. So I'm going to press the play button for a few seconds so that I can monitor that. So you can see how this object is being tracked as it moves within the frame. Now I'm going to move this back to the beginning where I started tracking the object. And I'm now going to attach a graphic to that object. So we'll just move our current time indicator a little bit further. And I'm going to come down to the graphics button, click on that, and I'm going to scroll down. I want to choose the speech bubble left. So I'm going to drag that and drop it onto my main window. And when I let go, it's going to ask me what text I want to add in here. So I'm simply going to type almost there. Go ahead and click OK, and you can see how it added this speech bubble to my video. So I'm going to move this, and I'm just going to reposition it. I can easily resize this if I want to. I can make it bigger or smaller. So I'm going to resize this so it kind of appears like the cyclist is thinking this information. And once I've done that, I can go ahead and click Done. Now to see how this works, I'll just play the video for a few seconds. And you can see how this speech bubble is following the cyclist as it's moving along. Now what if I wanted to add something different? Well, not only can I add a graphic, I can also add a video clip. So let's move our current time indicator back to the beginning. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that speech bubble. You can see I currently have it selected. I'm going to press the delete key to remove that speech bubble. Now I'm going to go back to Motion Tracking to attach a new graphic. So we'll go to our Tools menu, we'll go to Motion Tracking. I already have this object defined, so now I can just drag another element to attach it to the tracked object. Now instead of using a predefined graphic, I'm going to jump over to the Organizer, and I'm just going to reposition this window so that I can see Premiere Elements in the background. And I'm going to grab this point of view footage that I have of this cyclist. So I'll go ahead and drag that and drop that onto the main window. And we can now see that we have video footage that we've added to this. And the blue rectangle once again indicates that this is attached to the tracked object. Now I'm going to make this point of view footage a little bit bigger by resizing it. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard and I'm going to drag one of these corner handles to make this POV footage a little bit bigger. I'm just going to move this over into the corner and then I'll just go ahead and click Done. Now I'm going to play this clip for a few seconds so that we can see how this video plays while it's tracking this object. So I'm going to go ahead and click the play button. And you can see how this footage is playing while this video clip is moving along as well.
As you can see, motion tracking offers unlimited possibilities for attaching a graphic to an object in a video clip using Adobe Premiere Elements.